Weather Channel. With a cold or the flu, and the states are shaded in red. At least a dozen states, including Alaska. So if you find yourself sniffling and sneezing and you live in these states, then the Centers for Disease Control and Protection reports the widespread outbreaks. So you need to keep the medication handy. Get you some Alka Seltzer Plus. <laughs> Respiratory distress is above normal over the eastern half of the country, mainly due to damp and uh, windy conditions. And of course, pain and disease above normal too. Changes in atmospheric pressure, wind uh, changes in direction. And we have west winds blowing over the Great Lakes. And it's blustery this morning in Minnesota, Wisconsin, and the lower peninsula of Michigan. And we have damp conditions across the south too. And the clouds, well, they will linger throughout much of the day. No problems with air stagnation for the east. The biggest problems with stagnant air is over the valleys of Washington and Oregon. Well, that's the weather and how it can affect the way you feel. What about the five-day outlook? Do you have plans over the next five days? Well, don't miss the forecast coming up next. Mexico, Oklahoma City, you're sniffling and sneezing, widespread outbreaks of the flu, the same around St. Louis into Cleveland, even Atlanta, Georgia. We have widespread outbreaks of the flu for the entire Peach State. Regional outbreaks of the flu in the states are shaded in orange, but looks like things are clearing out in Washington and the Lone Star State of Texas over Vermont and the Hawaiian Islands as we have nearly and no cases of the flu have been reported. Respiratory distress above normal. Now with blustery conditions and cold air in place across the Great Lakes, the Northern Plains, and even the Southeast may be enough to perhaps take your breath away a little bit. And pain indices are above normal right along the uh, Gulf Coast and the states across the Southeast. And pain in the seas, well, that's uh, mainly associated with the damp conditions. And this morning, we are waking up to the showers from Houston all the way to Valdosta, Georgia, and along the coastal plains here of the Carolinas. Believe it or not, this is snow over the uh, northern parts of Texas this morning. Winter storm watch in effect for the Dallas area with the potential for snow and perhaps some sleet. So we'll have to watch Dallas for you. We have fog and stagnant air in the valleys of Washington and Oregon, but no problems with air stagnation over the east. Stay with us for your local conditions. Good morning, and thanks so much for finding it convenient to tune to the Weather Channel this early Saturday morning as we check current weather across the country. Let's start on the west coast for a change where we have a lot of nice weather, big dome of high pressure in control and setting the standards. Uh, pretty nice day shaping up from Seattle to Portland and even down south to the San Francisco Bay Area, the uh, San Fernando Valley looking good, Ventura County around beautiful Burbank and Los Angeles. A very nice day is shaping up. You should find a fair amount of sunshine and that includes the Great Basin all the way to Salt Lake City and around Phoenix in Arizona. We had some inclement weather just yesterday in Arizona and New Mexico as we've been watching an upper air disturbance. It had slotted off to the east this morning and it's bringing some snow in a panhandle in the Permian Basin of Texas. You can see from the satellite perspective the high pressure with fair skies for most of the west and it doesn't like, look like we have anything to be concerned with until you go way out in the Pacific and here we have another just system uh, waiting out in the wings. But it's going to take some time before this system even affects the weather for the West Coast. Over the east, though, that's where we've had most of the problems over the last 24 hours. Yesterday, we had rain. We had freezing rain in the valleys of Pennsylvania, New York, and Virginia around the Shenandoah Valley. This time yesterday morning, we were waking up to all kinds of freezing rain into the Susquehanna Valley and even the Hudson River Valley in New York. You you can see the frontal boundary associated with it has moved off the coast. Now, out ahead of it too, we had a lot of warm air for the cities right along the coastal areas. And with that in mind, the, um, with highs in the middle 40s for New York and Boston and Philadelphia, here comes another system. And this will make it uh, a little cooler tomorrow for most of the cities. And we have a little bit of light snow associated with this from around Messina, New York, back into northern Ohio, around Cleveland and western Pennsylvania. A little farther south now, and we still have to deal with the inclement weather in this region with the upper air disturbance across the southwest. Remember, 
the one I was talking about in Arizona, well, that is pushing on off to the east, and that will just add more instability in the atmosphere. And with moisture available, we're waking up to scattered showers from Houston along the coast of New Louisiana, around New Orleans, into the panhandle of Florida. And then we pick up more rain for the coastal plains of the Carolinas, from New Bern in North Carolina to um, Wilmington and down to Beaufort in Charleston, South Carolina. It is raining at Myrtle Beach this morning, around Florence and Columbia, and even Sumter in South Carolina. Please be extremely careful if you have travel plans. It's going to be a little slick for you this morning uh, in this area. Now, farther west, and we pick up more rain. It's been uh, quite heavy with some of the thunder showers between Macon, Georgia, and Albany. Some heavier rain here. Be careful. And back across the southeastern parts of Alabama, around Montgomery and Dothan, we have reports of uh, lighter rains, and that includes the panhandle of Florida, too, around Crestview and Pensacola and even Apalachicola. Get a little break in the action right here around Baton Rouge and Lafayette. Still have some low clouds here, but then we pick up more moisture back across the upper coast of Texas from Victoria to Houston and Beaumont. And this is basically streaking off to the east at about 20 to 25 miles an hour. A little farther north, and the precipitation changes over to snow, the colder air over the uh, northern parts of Texas here around Lubbock and Amarillo, even Roswell, New Mexico, we have some light snow. One to three inches possible here before all said and done but then most of the moisture we'll find in the form of rain over the southeast. We're talking about snow, widespread light snow with this frontal boundary over the Great Lakes and the Northern Plains and behind it, we do have some colder air. Look at these temperatures, Minneapolis, 17 degrees this morning, 24 in Des Moines. It's 20 degrees right now in Chicago, 42 in New York, 45 in Boston, about 33 in the nation's capital. And we have temperatures in the 40s and 50s as you head south and pleasant temperatures out west. Well, kind of chilly this morning, but it will certainly warm up quite nicely this afternoon from Seattle to San Francisco and even around Burbank where it's uh, 43 degrees with temperatures today pretty much in the 50s and we'll find some 60s and 70s in the southern parts of California and uh, southwest Arizona. The cooler air over the Great Lakes, the upper Mississippi Valley, 30s around Dallas where we have snow in the Permian Basin this morning. That may be pushing east and a winter storm watch is in effect for the Dallas area as well. Okay. Now tomorrow we will slowly but surely trim away the uh, warmer temperatures over the southeast and look at the highs only in the 40s for northern Georgia. If you're heading to Atlanta, you're already here, then I hope you brought along your sweaters and your coats because uh, temperatures only in the 40s will make it uh, rather cool and with the damp conditions we're dealing with on the forecast today and even tomorrow. Not a whole lot of southern hospitality, huh, for the Super Bowl in terms of the weather anyway, but at least we have the Georgia Dome for you so you can go in if you're going uh, to the game. Let's check on the uh, precipitation. Okay, rain across the south. That may begin to move north. Very interesting by Monday. Sooner or later. Pharmacists and Dr. Mom. Here's a look at the influenza. And we have uh, big problems with the flu in the states are shaded in red. Widespread outbreaks have been reported. I think that means that more than 50% um, of cases have been reported with the influenza. So you want to keep the medication handy from Alaska, New Mexico, and even around Omaha. If you find yourself sniffling and sneezing, then more than likely you have the flu and perhaps the uh, or a cold or perhaps the flu. Respiratory distress is above normal over the east. We have uh, changes in atmospheric pressure and that'll certainly make the pain indices a little bit more flare today over the Great Lakes with west winds being shifted yesterday had southerly winds and today they're changing from the west. Across the south a lot of damp conditions and that may uh, flare up the aches and the joints today. No problems with air stagnation for the east. The biggest problem is in Washington and Oregon. Stay with us. We have the latest on the winter weather next. Anticipating Michelin dealers. A winter storm watch has been issued for the Dallas Metro.
complex as we do have some snow back across the Permian Basin and that may be sliding east, perhaps snow increasing around the Dallas area and maybe some sleet in the region. So be very careful. We'll keep our eyes on northeast Texas and let you know if the snow and sleet is moving into the Dallas area. Rainy travel for most of the southeast. If you have travel plans on the interstates, be prepared as we're waking up to the wet conditions right now from New Orleans up to uh, Savannah, Georgia, and even around uh, Valdosta. We have a few storms skirting off the coast here of Florida. They tend to be moving off to the northeast. So Interstate 75, even Interstate 10, right along the Gulf Coast will give you the biggest headaches today. There is even the potential for a strong and maybe a severe storm or two across northern Florida, so you know we'll watch this area for you. And windy over the northeast, west winds may exceed 30 miles an hour. Well, stay with us right after this word from Good morning, Tri-State area, three minutes before seven as we detail the conditions for today. The normal highs and lows for this 29th day of January. Now, normally we see an afternoon high of 38 degrees and a morning low of 25. Back in 1873, we had a record high of one degree below zero, and in 1975, a record high of 55. Wow, that's what we got up to yesterday. So if to yesterday's record high was um, 55 degrees, we would have tied the record high. And uh, I don't think we'll get up to 55 degrees today. We have seen precipitation yesterday, but none since midnight after seeing uh, over uh, an inch and three quarters of rain just yesterday. At Central Park, we have partly cloudy skies right now. The pressure is on the rise from 29.80 inches. West winds at six miles an hour, 62% relative humidity, wind chill 21 degrees, and the current temperature is 38. So it's still fairly mild out there. Remember, the normal high for the date is about 38 degrees, but after seeing 55 degrees yesterday, it's going to take some time for the uh, temperatures to wind back down. We have had the front to move through, though, and those west winds will cool it down today. We're talking partly sunny conditions for most of the tri-state area, with afternoon highs pretty much in the low and middle 40s. Currently, it's 38 degrees at Newark. At the John F. Kennedy Airport, we have 36, 37 at White Plains. New Haven, 41, about 35 at Bridgeport. Islip checking in with 39 degrees this hour and about 39 in Teterboro. Here you see the wind chills. As we check on the uh, satellite picture, we see most of the heavier bright white clouds well out into the Atlantic. That's associated with the system that moved through yesterday with all the heavy rains we've seen over the tri-state vicinity. But today promises to be much, much drier as the first system has already pushed through. Now we're sandwiched between two systems. One has left, made its grand Exodus, but this one is getting ready to move on in, and as it pushes through tomorrow, will be cooler than today. Here's a look at the forecast tomorrow, and there you see the next system already pushing through the tri-state region with high pressure building in and some colder air behind it. There you see the highs today, pretty much in the low and middle 40s from Midtown to Edison to Clifton, and around Brentwood, about 44 degrees and 45 in Long Branch with a morning low of 26. 15 tomorrow morning in Sussex and 10 degrees at West Point, about 16 in Washington, and out on East Long Island, Southampton should drop to 21 degrees. Well, we're talking about cloudy conditions tomorrow with an afternoon high of only 29 degrees. Chance of uh, snow Monday, 32 degrees. Looking better in terms of uh, cloudy conditions with sunshine Tuesday and Wednesday. East. Well, we've had one system to move right on out of the way. This is the one that brought the wet conditions to many of the ski resorts over the northeast yesterday. But the uh, wet conditions have moved on out overnight, and we're talking cast. Well, just a little bit of light snow in extreme upstate New York in the Adirondacks here, the green in the white mountains of Vermont and New Hampshire. But the thing we have to be most concerned with is the cold air building in, so we can make as much snow as we want across the northeast. Sunshine tomorrow for most of New England, so ski looking good this weekend. Good morning and thanks so much for joining us on the Weather Channel. 30 minutes after the hour as we check current weather across the country. That's, or the lack of them, not many to speak of this morning as we wake up to cloud-free conditions for most of California into the Pacific Northwest. A very nice day is shaping up from the San Fernando, the San Gabriel, and the San Bernardino Valleys in Southern California. Around L.A. should get up to the upper 60s today. Very, very nice. And much of the same around San Francisco, a little cooler, but sunshine will be prevalent. 
And that sunshine will extend all the way to the Olympic Peninsula. So, nice day for most of the West, even around Phoenix, Arizona, and Las Vegas. Now, Denver, I think it's a different story here. We're watching a little disturbance riding along the jet complements of high pressure. It's 34 degrees right now in Seattle, so a little chilly this morning with clear skies, but it should be warming up nicely to the 50s this afternoon. 60s in L.A. and San Diego, 41 and 46 respectively, 41 in Atlanta and about